be strong. Hey everyone, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back. Today we are doing a very quick all standing full body workout. This is a no repeat session and we are focusing on high reps again today. So we have three different circuits, five exercises each, working 60 seconds on with a 15 second recovery. The format today, we're gonna to do five compound exercises, five lower body exercises, and five upper body exercises. All you need is a set or more of dumbbells for this workout. So go ahead, get set up, and when you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, we're gonna start by taking it down and touching our toes. So slight bend in through the knees, lift, squeeze your glutes. Inhale down, exhale. Good, we wanna stretch out through the back of the legs. Pull the belly in, starting to activate the core muscles. Good, two more times. Final one. Good, we're gonna bring the arms up and open. Good, opening up that chest, opening up the back. Squeeze. Four, three, now we're gonna leave our elbows up and we're gonna come up on the toe and pivot, twist to the back. So really twisting through the waist. Now we're gonna add a stretch for that shoulder. Good. Last two. And one, take it into some butt kicks, four. Four, three, two, one. Now knee touches for four. Back to those butt kicks, two. Bring the knees up. Again, four. Knee raise. Last time, four, three, and one, bring those knees up, two, three, four. Take big wide stance out, arms out to the side. We're gonna come on down and touch the opposite toe. Good, windmill it down. Last one, bring those arms up overhead. We're gonna take it into a sumo squat. And pulse, two, three, lift. Inhale up and down, two, three, lift. Two, three. Two, three, lift. One more time, arms up. Down, two, three, four, step it in, circle one arm back. Big circle with the right arm. Last two, and one, take it to the other side. Reach it up and back. One more and release it down, knee up, out to the side, roll it back and around, other side. Good, getting that rotation in through the hip joint. Inhale, release. Last one, right here, we're gonna kick forward through the heels, lean it back. Good, 15 seconds to go. 
Let's reach now. Reach. Two and one. Okay, so remember this is high reps. We're doing a full minute. So make sure you pick a weight that you can go a full minute. We're gonna do a deadlift with a clean and press. So we're gonna start with the weights in our hand. You want a slight bend in through that knee. You're gonna come down with a straight back, pull your belly in. When you lift, you come up with a straight back, pull the weights in towards your chest, wrist in, and then rotate press. Okay, one full minute. Lock the core in, here we go. Take it down, lift, press. Good. Hinge, press. Good job. Okay, I'm lightening up single dumbbell. We're gonna work one side, then the other. So we're gonna do a lateral lunge with a high pull. So you're gonna take that weight, come on down to the floor, lift and pull back. You want that shoulder, elbow up by the shoulder. Here we go. Down, lock in the core, knee lift. Good, inhale. Now, if you struggle with balance, just take that toe right here and down. Elbow back, good. How you doing? We gotta do that on the other side. Okay, tummy in, shoulders back. Right here, take it down. Inhale, exhale. Good, drop that weight into that heel, press it up. Next move, we're gonna hold the weight on one side of our shoulders. We're gonna squat down, lift rainbow press to the other side. Okay, here we go. Squat, rainbow press.
rest, 15 seconds. All right, last compound. We're gonna do a halo, lift, tricep, halo to the other side. So with that halo, you wanna get that weight right around the back of the head. So we start elbows forward, take it around, press it up, tricep extension. Good, now, other side. Press and down. Halo, press, extend. Good. Nice job, okay. Hey, how you doing? We're gonna do some legs next. <sighs> so we're gonna start with a sumo deadlift to a sumo squat. I can go fairly heavy on this one. I wanna start with my feet wide. We're gonna hinge it forward here, lift, and then squat. Good, slight bend in the knees, hinge with a nice straight back. Squeeze and pop through your hips, drop it down. I'm gonna go to a single weight, and I'm just gonna be holding that weight. So we're gonna lunge back with our right leg, then we're gonna take it into a curtsy. So we lunge down, lift, curtsy, back to that lunge. Here we go, lunge. Now take it to a diagonal, lunge. Back to a basic lunge. You're gonna feel this on that standing leg, drop. Nice work. 30 seconds to go on this side. How'd you do on that? We gotta do the other side. So I can feel that in the glutes of that standing leg. <sighs> Three more lower body, then we're all upper. Here we go, lunge it back, drop, lift, curtsy, lift, drop.
Okay, last two exercises. Place your weight on one leg. We're gonna go up on the toe. We're gonna do an elevated squat. <sighs> All right, so we're just gonna squat it back right here, keeping that heel lifted. Nice job. Just gotta do the other side. And we have five exercises, all upper body to finish it off. Seconds, hold strong. Okay, other side. Whew. Right up on the toe. Just place that weight on the thigh. Good. We're gonna hinge, bend through the knees, drop down into that squat. Thirty seconds, halfway. You've got it. Three, two. And one, take a rest, 15 seconds. Moving on, we got five exercises to go and they are all upper body. Whew, and we're gonna be starting with a curl and press. So grab those weights, elbows tucked in, wrists out. We're gonna curl it, rotate the hands, press it up. Good. Keep your knees slightly bent, press. Nice work. 10 seconds. Good, think strong upper body. Four. I'm lightening up now. So we're gonna do a front raise with an overhead tricep extension. So we've done a tricep extension, but this time we're gonna do it with a front raise instead of the halo. So we're gonna take those arms straight up and drop. Here we go. Good, nice and slow on the way down. Use control while you take those weights up, bend the elbows, and then nice and slow on the way down, work those shoulders. Good. If you find it's too much with two weights, you can take this to a single weight, hold on to either side, raise it up, bend here, Good, you get a little bit more stability in through the shoulder joint when you use just the single dumbbell. All right, your choice, single or double.
take a rest. We're gonna work some chest and shoulders. So we're gonna go up fly, wrists are out. You're gonna lift the wrists up, then take them out to the side. Slight bend through that elbow. We're gonna lift up, rotate the arms, take it out to a lateral raise. You wanna keep the elbow slightly bent in both moves. Good, keep focusing on that breath, exhale. Time to work the back. So we're gonna do an underhand row. So wrists are out. Then we're gonna flip the wrist and do an overhand row. So we're hinging forward. Good, wrists out, pull it in. Flip the wrist, pull up to the chest. Flip, underhand row, overhand. Bring it up, drop one of your weights. Whew, final exercise. Let's get that weight up overhead. We're gonna hold it here, then we're gonna bring it down, crunch to the side. So working those abs, working the shoulders, whole arm muscles working here. Good, pull. Final one, you've got it, we're almost done. Whew. 30 seconds. water if you want to. I'm going to take us through a standing stretch so you can join in whenever you're ready. And I'm going to start with some upper body stretches. So I'm going to take those hands behind my back and I'm going to grab onto one elbow. All right, so elbow to elbow, open up that chest, deep breath, and exhale. Good. Tuck that tailbone down and under, pull the belly in. Good, release the arms down. We're gonna look over our right shoulder, take that left hand to the floor, drop our chin. We wanna get that stretch in through the neck. Switch to the other side. Bring it center, take one leg behind the other. We're gonna hinge it forward right here 
and come to the floor or just onto your thighs, whatever feels good. Good, just switch which leg is behind. Stay in that fold. And lift up with a straight back. Let's get into the quads. We're gonna grab onto one foot. Bring that knee in, hip forward. This is a quick one, but with those 60 seconds, you're really getting high reps, so working endurance today, really taxing those muscles. Good, take that leg forward, toe up, hinge at your hips, place your hands on that bent knee. Lift it up, other side. Heel forward, toe up, hinge it. Good, lift it, take your feet wide. We're gonna take one arm down towards the other foot. Good. Over to the other side. Bring it center, one hand center. Give it a twist. Release it down, other side. Both hands down, walk your feet in. Place your hands behind your shins. You can have your knees slightly bent, trying to bring the chest towards your thighs. We're gonna lift up with a straight back, so reach those arms forward, pull the belly in, lift it up all the way. Bring the arms down, bring one arm on top of the other, come into an eagle arm here, opening up through the back. Okay, switch your arms on top. Release the arms down, place your hands on the back of your head, elbows forward, drop your chin to your chest. Good, lift, take those elbows back, look up. Bring your head center, we're gonna exhale those arms down, bring the shoulders up to meet the ears. And then just drop it down one more time, inhale up. And let it go. All right guys, that's it for me today. You take care and I'll see you on the next one.